Beneath the vast canvas of the newborn world, etched in the very first book of existence, Genesis, unfolds a captivating saga of two brothers, Cain and Abel. Cain, a man sculpted by the unforgiving earth, bore the calloused hands and sturdy frame of a farmer. His days were a symphony of sweat and toil, coaxing life from the stubborn soil. Abel, in stark contrast, possessed the keen eye and quiet demeanor of a shepherd. His life was a tapestry woven with the quiet murmur of grazing sheep and the watchful vigil beneath a star-strewn sky. As custom dictated, both brothers approached the divine with offerings, testaments to their labors. Cain, with a farmer's pride, presented the fruits of his harvest, a bounty born from his wrestle with the earth. Abel, with a shepherd's discerning eye, selected the choicest, the firstborn of his flock. A reverent hush fell as they presented their gifts. Then, in a moment that would forever alter their lives, God accepted Abel's offering but not Cain's. Fury, like a sudden desert wind, contorted Cain's face. Why the favoritism? Was the sweat of his brow less worthy than Abel's? A spark of jealousy, a flicker of resentment ignited within him, threatening to consume him whole. The silence surrounding God's choice has ignited centuries of theological debate. Theories bloom like wildflowers, each offering a unique perspective on this enigmatic event. One prominent theory centers on the concept of faith. Perhaps Abel's offering wasn't just about the quality of the gift, but the depth of his belief. Did Abel approach God with a heart overflowing with unwavering trust in his power and will? Was Cain's offering, in contrast, devoid of this vital element? The book of Hebrews, written much later, seems to suggest this. It whispers of Abel's offering being more acceptable due to his faith, Hebrews 11 to 4. Another theory delves into the symbolic weight of the offerings themselves. In many ancient cultures, Blood sacrifices held a special significance, seen as a way to appease the divine and atone for sins. Abel's offering of a firstborn animal, the choicest of his flock, could be interpreted as a symbolic foreshadowing of future blood sacrifices, particularly the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Cain's crops, though valuable and sustaining life, might not have held the same symbolic power in this context. Yet another theory proposes the possibility of divine instruction. Perhaps God had already communicated a preference for blood sacrifices. Abel, adhering faithfully to these instructions, displayed obedience. Cain, unaware or unwilling to follow these specific guidelines, might have fallen short in this regard. Here, the story subtly underscores the importance of following God's will, even if it's not explicitly stated. It's a reminder to actively seek guidance and strive to align our actions with his purpose. These are just a few of the many interpretations that have swirled around this captivating story for millennia. While the definitive reason for God's choice may forever be shrouded in mystery, the different perspectives offered by these theories enrich our understanding of the narrative and its enduring lessons. While the reason for God's choice remains a captivating mystery, the story of Cain and Abel transcends this specific event. It serves as a timeless parable, itching valuable lessons onto the human experience. The narrative underscores a crucial truth. True worship isn't just about the physical offering presented, it's about the heart that accompanies the act. A lavish display of wealth or meticulously chosen crops, Paley's in comparison to a heart overflowing with genuine faith, reverence for the divine, and a sincere desire to please God. It's the inner disposition that truly matters, a heart turned towards him, pulsating with love and a yearning for connection. The story also serves as a gentle nudge, reminding us of the importance of actively seeking God's will. In the absence of explicit instructions, as might have been the case with Cain, we are called to cultivate a relationship with the divine. This can be achieved through prayer, 
a practice of quiet reflection where we open ourselves to God's voice. Studying scripture allows us to glean wisdom from past interactions between God and humanity. Additionally, cultivating a spirit of attentiveness helps us pick up on subtle nudges and promptings from the divine. By actively seeking guidance, we can strive to align our actions with his purpose, even when the path seems unclear. Perhaps the most potent lesson lies in the tragic aftermath of Cain's offering. Consumed by jealousy and anger over Abel's favor, Cain succumbs to a darkness within him, culminating in violence. This serves as a stark reminder of the destructive nature of unchecked emotions. The story calls us to cultivate a heart of peace, forgiveness, and acceptance, even when faced with challenges or perceived injustices. True strength lies not in succumbing to envy, but in rising above it, choosing compassion and understanding instead. The story of Cain and Abel continues to resonate because it grapples with fundamental human experiences that transcend time and culture. It reflects our yearning for acceptance, the struggle with envy, and the devastating consequences of unchecked emotions. It serves as a reminder of the importance of faith, obedience, and the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of life's complexities. By internalizing these timeless lessons, we can navigate our own journeys with greater clarity, purpose, and a heart open to the divine. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me on this journey, and it's been great exploring its meaning with you. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And for more engaging content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, Stay blessed and keep learning.